Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Last time I tried to edit a video with Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 and I encountered this error code 3 error. I suggested switching from hardware encoding to software encoding, but as it turns out, I was still encountering that problem. So it's actually a compatibility issue with NVIDIA and Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so what we want to do is go to the NVIDIA Control Center. You can right click on your mouse nvidia control panel or you can hit the icon on your desktop wait until that loads up all right and we're now we're going to go to manage 3d settings depends on what uh, which version you have sometimes you have this uh, pull down menu so, so you want to look for 3d app visual simulation but if you don't have that and by the way we're in the global settings tab you would go down to power management and make sure to switch it from whatever it is to prefer maximum performance. And then we're gonna hit the apply button. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna test it out and make sure it works. All right, it's finally time to confirm if my theory works and that I know we'll no longer encounter any uh, crashing or error code three. What I have with me is a long video, a comic book haul video that's over 10 minutes. As I found out in the past, um, usually these long videos that require 4K rendering causes a lot of these uh, error code three errors. So I'm using hardware encoding. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my preferences, the YouTube 2160p 4K Ultra HD because I want it to be in high quality and it matches the YouTube. All right. And my success rate in the past has been like 40% or so. So that's not good at all. So let's see if this works. I'm just going to name it Comic. 167 that's how many hauls i've done cross fingers here we go don't forget i switched from optimal power to optimal performance in nvidia setting I notice it speeds it up a little bit. A video typically of this size usually takes about uh, 12 minutes, 12, 15 minutes or so. All right, so far so good. So I notice switching from optimal power to optimal performance, it speeds up the rendering speed to a um, couple of seconds. So it skips it pretty fast compared to the way it was before. Looks like we may have success. You know, I'm glad I didn't decide to go out and upgrade my memory because I could end up paying like $100 to $200 from upgrading from a 16 gigabyte RAM to like uh, even like 48 or 64, which my computer handles. All right, we're down to 1%. Cross fingers. Sometimes the final encoding can be, can be uh, can malfunction. Hey, 100%. It looks good. So far, so good. Hey, that's the confirmation I needed. Hope you guys find the video to be helpful. Like, share, and subscribe to help support this channel. Take care of yourselves.